They were actually scheduled to meet in World Series boxing back in 2016. But Saf Yulin well, conceded the bout by a walkover. They did meet once before, way back in 2014. Wow. In a dual match between the neighboring nations of Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, and on that occasion, it was Saf Yulin who came out on top. But if you're going all the way back to 2014, yeah. that's six years ago, Abdurahimov was just a teenager. That's so long ago, Ronald. They're different animals now. Oh, big right hand there. Good start from the man in red. Three right hands cracking through. Wow. Two of them straight, one of them overhand. But what a start from yep. Saf Yulin, my goodness. He's trying to send a message straight away. Ronald, you get the feeling because the man in blue is physically imposing and he's the toughest 63 or at least one of them that we've seen here. But the man in red is trying to send a message, Ronald, to him. Terrific punch wow. picking from Saf Yulin and he's getting the better of the man in blue during what were attempted exchanges. But Abdurahimov not really finding the range. And again, he's marked up beneath the eyes. He's got that tape above the eyes after picking up that cut. And the tape has already come off. Yeah. That cut could well open up. And it will be interesting to see if it does what the referee determines opens it. Of course, we'll have to wait and see what does open it. But if anything how, opens it. Yeah, how <laughs> likely is it that the cut is going to hold up for the three threes? Well, we will soon see quite. Sharply will have good right hand counter and back comes Abdurayamov with a backhand as well. There's a head clash in there, but it's caused by Abdurayamov who hits Safulin more on the face. Well, this is a terrific start to the first round by Safulin. Make no mistake, Abdurayamov trying to get his way back into yeah. it. That left hook caught on the gloves, but the right hand down the pipe did get through. Good jab. Moves his head off the line pretty well as well now. Abdurayamov, he's starting to move his head, Ronald. He's realised that he can't just maraud forward taking these shots, so the head's moving side to side here. But you have to say that Safulin, who is getting the better of matters here to start out, but this man in blue is coming back into it now. Most certainly, and he let, well, terrific exchange once again. And Abdurayamov looking to bring the right uppercut into play. Using the feet there, Abdurayamov, to get out of range before coming back with a one-two. Safulin. Good left hand from Abdurayamov. Yeah. Out of that stance. Just really moving left to right, left to right. Not exactly with his back to the ropes, but not that far away. He needs to wake himself up a little bit. A couple of left cross successes, oh, but look at that look for a right that. left from Saf Yulin. Then skipping off to the space of the ring, bringing the right hand into play. What a, a terrific round. round, my goodness. Both guys smile and nod <laughs> in appreciation because they both know what went on there. Exciting stuff there from both guys. And it's the Uzbek's corner man that's on squat 1095 now. <laughs> Throughout the competition, his legs must be bigger than the 91 plus. <laughs> the 6'7 guy that he's cornered, his legs must be bigger now. Look at that trade-off, wasn't that exciting, Ronald? Man, it's a full and started so well. As the round wore on, going into the last minute, Abdurayamov started to come back into it with the head movement and the straight shots. Abdurayamov well, fight back, giving him the share yeah. of the round for Judge Four. Saf Yulin could perhaps consider himself a little bit unlucky not yeah. to sweep the board, but Saf Yulin with a terrific start, Abdurahimov with a strong conclusion to the round. And again, it's Saf Yulin in red, looking to boss these exchanges, but Abdurahimov working at a quicker tempo here, and these trade-offs are more competitive than the ones which Saf Yulin had the upper hand in in the early stages of the first round. Oh, what a right uppercut. That's a beautiful punch from Saf Yulin in red. Left hook is a nice shot, and then bringing the left hand into play nice. repeatedly. Hooks and jabs from Saf Yulin. Oh, Counter backhand. left hand from Elder Abdurahimov, but he's being outpunched in these exchanges here. Yep, so far he is, but we are only a minute into the round. 
and he's finding the range with his southpaw left hand. Some good defense from the right glove of Saf Yulin, and evidence once again. Then a left hand drop down to the body from the man in blue. Yep, a little bit low maybe even, <laughs> <laughs> before the man in red's head smashed into Abdurayamov's chin. It's the last thing Abdurayamov needs is head collisions here, Ronald, isn't it? After the, the mess of his face, he's badly marked up, but he lands a big left cross there. Off the off, and another Ronald. Followed by a right hook as well. And again, Abdurayimov, as he's done all tournament long, able to keep himself in contention with his terrific punch picking and swarming oh. aggression. Left uppercut, left cross, and look at this trade off. Oh, what man. a left hand from Abdurayimov. There's a mark on Shafulin's eye. Zafulin's eye now as well, Ronald. I don't know if it's a cut or if it's blood from his opponent. I don't think so. But you will see it in a second, Ron. Working oh, away goes to both the body. body and head. Zafulin looking a little bit shocked. He's looking a little bit surprised. That left hand has been a terrific punch for the man in blue. An uppercut came through as well. Zafulin now trying to re-establish his left jab. Left cross comes in once again. And a right hand from Abdurrahimov. An exchange of grin at centre ring. Terrific action in the middle of the ring here. Less than a minute to go in the second round. And what a round so far. Wow. Terrific trade-off between these two incredibly conditioned boxers. Remember, this is the fourth bout of a month <laughs> on the break for both of them. And he helps himself to a little shot on the break, does Saf Yulin. Apologizes as well. As they both get back down to business now. Absolute brilliant contest so far. Real battle. Kazakhstan versus Uzbekistan. And we did expect this, Ronald. Oh, oh, counter big left backhand. hand from Abdurrahimov, countered immediately by a right cross, by a right hand from Saf Yulin. But the man in blue shot was more forceful, trying to go down to the body as the man in red. Left hand success again for Abdurrahimov. Oh. And they punch after the bell. No smile or nod of respect this time, <laughs> just a glare. That was distinctly baleful exchange between the two of them. What a round. Now, Abdurrahimov, now the cut, you see, it's not the major cut, but the other cut that he's got around yeah. his eyebrow beginning to open up. But my goodness, he got himself back into that well. The southpaw left a really effective shot for him. Whoa, did he not just bring it through time and time again? Oh, that was low. <laughs> There's been a few low blows. A couple of head collisions as well. But they seem to be happy with not one complaint from either boxer. So Judge Four scored for the man in blue, and he's taken it 4-1 at the Raimov. Whoa. So for Judge Four... Total split. For Judge Four, it's 2018 for Saf Yulin. For Judge Two, it is... Excuse me, for Judge Four, it's 2018 for Abdurrahimov. For Judge Two, it is 2018 for the man in red. For the other three, it's squared up. So everything to fight for now. Championship gold on the line, but more, perhaps more pertinently, more importantly, national pride as these Central Asian nations that are the top two Asian National, Olymp Asian national Olympic committees in the sport of boxing are competing for bragging rights here. And look at the torrid punching between these two men. This is Olympic boxing of the highest level. But this is in some respects like watching a Tom and Jerry cartoon because they're just standing toe to toe and letting their hands go <laughs> furiously. It's ridiculous. Oh my word. And they're smiling as well. They are smiling. They are having a great time. Look at this. Oh, Abdem Ryamov goads Zafulin in, trying to draw him into his type of bout. And he welcomes them. He said, OK, let's have it your way then. Oh, they're <laughs> chatting to each other and smiling and everything. Can you believe it? Well, a mouthpiece has been dislodged. It belongs to Saf Yulin. He was, I think he was basically apologising <laughs> to Abdurayamov. <laughs> I think he was actually saying, I'm so sorry. Well, we're just in the midst of that great battle and my mouth guard fell out. Let's pick it back up where we left off. So the conversation of the physical variety resumes here. Saf Yulin with the right hand to the body, left hook upstairs. Who will be able to re-establish their momentum more quickly. Both men having success once again. Approaching the midpoint of the third and final Man. round. And the hammer and tongs punching continues. 
midway through this third and final session. Right hand on the brake landed by Saf Yulin. And another one. Right Abdurayimov looking to create room for his punches. Remember the southpaw left has been effective for him, but Saf Yulin perhaps edging these exchanges through this portion of the final round. And another shot on the break. That's twice in succession <laughs> from Saf Yulin. Abdurayimov steals a glance to the blue corner. Minute to go in the third and final oh. round. The apology for the mouth guard coming out was hilarious. And now they're back to it. Look at this. Neither man willing to give an inch, are they? Bragging rights between these two boxing superpowers. And super the right powers. eye has Whoa, opened up from Abdurayimov. And that is uncut above the other eye. Now let's watch the referee, what has caused this? It's an accidental clash of heads. Elna Abdurahimov's eyes are just a patchwork of injuries. Look oh. at the state of the man's visage. Man, whoa. Well, the doctor's doing his work, but I'm not sure this contest is gonna be allowed to continue. And if that is the case, we will go to the scorecards and the portion of the third round that is being completed will be considered by the judges at ringside. Remember, there was a two-point split for either man on the card of judge four in favor of the man in blue, on the card of judge two in favor of the man in red. It's even for the three other dual scoring judges. 40 seconds to go. But Abdurahimov inconvenienced by a multitude of cuts here, but still he comes forward. This man is some competitor. What a contest! Unbelievable stuff. And still they continue Whoa. to punch at high output. Man! Saf Yulin perhaps getting the better of these exchanges. Probably. And Abdurahimov having to fight through a whole bundle of cuts above and around both eyes. You get the feeling they could just do this all day, wouldn't you? Well, the 10-second clap are barely audible here Man. at the Prince Hamza Hall. Abdurahimov raised his hands immediately, and oh, Saf Yulin's got a men. cut to the left eye. My goodness, what a contest. She was... Absolutely sensational, unrelenting action. Both corners incredibly happy with their respective boxes. We're going to the scorecard. Which way is it going to go? For what it's worth, I happen to think the man in red has edged it but that is absolutely irrelevant. What say the five judges at the conclusion of that absolutely thrilling affair? Unbelievable. Why can't there be draws in Olympic-style boxing, Ron? <laughs> Why? For a gold medal match, they should both get a gold medal for this. And it's Abderrahimov! Elna Abderrahimov, a split decision victory. Man. And Saf Yulin with a wry grin. It's respectful between the two. What a contest. Absolutely oh, amazing nice affair. nice to see, man. What respect between the two. And look at what it means to the man in blue. Overturning a 4-1 deficit in the first round to come back, take round 2-4-1. And he is the split decision man. victor. What a performance. What a series of performance from Elna Abderrahim.